Light to moderate rain or thunder shower with lightning is likely to affect some parts of the districts of Jajpur, Nayagarh, Katak, Angul, Dhenkanal, Khordha, including Bhuvneshwar, Kandhmal, Boigd, Sonepur, Bargar and Sundargarh within the next three hours, said a nowcast warning issued by the India Meteorological Department's IMD's regional centre here at 3.25 p.m. today. The cyclonic circulation over the northeast bay of Bengal and neighborhood now extends up to 7.6 kilometers above mean sea level tilting southwestwards with and under its influence a low pressure area is likely to form over the northwest and adjoining west central bay of Bengal during the next chobis hour. An elephant went on a rampage attacking a private bus in Artham village in Andhra Pradesh, Parvathipuram Manyam district on Monday. There was panic among people as the tusker blocked the traffic. It then came charging towards a private bus and damaged its windshield with its trunk. Commissionerate Police in Bhuvneshwar has arrested four members of a gold chain snatching gang. Police have seized these gold chains weighing about 400 gram, three speed bikes, two black jackets, and loan documents against the snatched gold chains, police said. Indian mains hockey team captain Prabodh Tirki joined Indian National Congress on Monday at a program organized at the Congress Bhavan in Bhuvneshwar in the presence of senior party leaders. Odisha Vigilance Sleuths on Monday carried out searches at the office and residences of the officials of MS Hindustan Steel Construction Works LTD at N. 1857 Nayapalli, IRC Village in Bhuvneshwar in connection with substandard execution and misappropriation of funds in the construction of four hostel blocks in Sonepur district. Panic gripped the inmates and staff of the Fakir Mohan Medical College and Hospital in Odisha's Balasore district as a minor fire broke out in the medicine ward of the medical facility on Monday morning. A Delhi-bound Indigo flight was forced to make an emergency landing at Biju Patnayak International Airport in Bhuvneshwar after being hit by a bird on Monday, sources said here. Two persons have been arrested here for trying to meet Delhi LGVK Saxena by posing as government officials, the police said on Sunday. One of them had introduced himself as an IS officer. The arrested individuals have been identified as Abhimanyu Sethi, 41, a resident of Odisha, and Abhishek Chaudhary, 27, a resident of Gokalpuri in Delhi. Baripda Sadar police on Sunday arrested a youth on charges of molesting a minor girl when she was alone at home. The accused was forwarded to court and subsequently sent to judicial custody. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee said on Monday that her family has become a victim of political harassment. We have not taken even a rupee from anyone or accepted a cup of tea from anyone. I fail to understand one thing. If I purchase something, say a pair of saucers or tea mugs, can the central agencies like the Enforcement Directorate a listed terrorist and Canada-based Khalistan Tiger Force, KTF Operative Arshadeep Singh, aka Ashdala, appears to be apprehensive about activities by the National Investigation Agency, NIA, against him and his associates. An encounter has started between terrorists and security forces at Gali Sohab in Tuli area of Chassana in the Resi district of Jammu and Kashmir, officials said on Monday, encounter started at Resi on the basis of police input regarding the presence of two militants. Goa Aam Admi Party, AAP, Chief Amit Palekar, was granted bail on Monday by a local court in the Mercedes accident case. He was given interim bail on late Thursday evening. Soon after his arrest and hearing was continued today. A day after the police registered an FIR against four members of Editors Guild of India, EGI, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh on Monday said that the EGI report on Manipur ethnic conflict is biased and factually inaccurate. Delhi Police has revoked its order from 2nd September which had previously announced the closure of certain metro station gates leading to the VIP route venue of the summit from September 8 to the The Supreme Court on Monday agreed to examine a plea filed by the wife of slain criminal Sanjeev Maheshwari Jeeva, seeking to quash the FIR registered against her under the UP Gangster Act. Jeeva, an aide of gangster politician Mukhtar Ansari, was shot dead inside a courtroom in Lucknow on June 7. 
Belying expectations, Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde on Monday reiterated that the government is committed to giving reservations to the Marathas but did not spell out the exact quota that is being planned. Raising their concerns over the proposed regulation by the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, TRAI, to selectively ban OTT apps in the event of a law and order situation, at least 11 consumer groups on Monday said the proposal would lead to over-regulation and would create regulatory uncertainty in the domestic market. The Kerala High Court on Monday witnessed high drama as a married man slashed his wrist after he heard his lover expressing her wish to return to her parents. The total assets declared by the eight national parties increased to Rs. 8,829 crore during financial year 2021-22, of which the highest assets were declared by the Bharatiya Janta Party, BJP, at 6,046 rupees 81 paise crore during FY 2021-22. Vikram Lander is set into sleep mode around 8 HRAs IST today. Prior to that, in situ experiments by Chaste, Rambhai P and Ilsa payloads are performed at the new location. The data collected is received at the earth. Payloads are now switched off. Lander receivers are kept on, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, said on X platform. Placed in an easy pool C, the Indian Women's Hockey Punch S team is eyeing a podium finish in the FIH Women's Hockey Punch S World Cup from January 24 to 30, 2024, in Muscat, Oma. Ravindra Jadeja took a three-wicket haul as India kept Nepal to 178 by 6 in 37.5 overs before rain caused interruption and led to the entire ground being covered in the Asia Cup Group A match at the Pallekele International Cricket Stadium on Monday. Former fast bowler Eric Simons has been roped in by the South Africa side as their bowling coach for the upcoming five-match ODI series against Australia and for the mains ODI World Cup in India. Mehdi Hassan Miraj, 112, and Najmul Hussain Shanto, 104, struck centuries as Bangladesh posted 334 by 5, their highest total overseas and then bundled out Bangladesh for 245 and registered a big win against Afghanistan in a group stage match of Asia Cup 2023 here on Sunday. Indian ace pacer Jaspreet Bumrah and his wife Sanjana Ganesan have welcomed a baby boy with the fast bowler sharing the joyful announcement on social media. Bumrah announced the news of the birth of the baby boy on Instagram, sharing a wholesome picture. The Indian mains and women's teams got favourable draws in the highly anticipated FIH Hockey Punch S World Cup 2024 in Oman, which was officially launched on Sunday at a ceremony in Salala, Oman. Indian boxing contingent for the Asian Games left for Vision City, China for a 17 day long international boxing training camp ahead of the continental event in Hangzhou, China. The much awaited 8th edition of Mrs. India. She is India 2023, co-powered by Zulfe, concluded in a dazzling display of beauty and talent, leaving an indelible mark on the world of pageantry. From 27th to 30th August 2023, the event unfolded at the prestigious venue, the Umrao, in New Delhi, showcasing the very best of India's beauty and grace.